um, do you not speak English? Do you want to come with me? We'll have a chat in the front office. Alright then, so in this one I'm probably just going to show two interactions out of this video. You've seen the first little snippet of one. This one was a weird interaction, as you've seen. Uh, you don't speak English, how should you come to that conclusion just by looking at somebody? Weird interaction. But the this, this second interaction's even... Well, I won't say weird there, but it's... It's not an interaction which highlights the police in a good light. So... We'll just get straight into these interactions. Hiya. Can I help you? That's me. Are you, um... Do you not speak English? Do you want to come with me? We'll have a chat in the front office. So I'm Inspector Haynes. in the front office. What's your name? Okay then, so so far I can't really fault her. She did assume that he doesn't speak English just because he hasn't said anything yet, which is a bit weird to assume somebody can't speak English even though he hasn't said anything yet. The subtitles were popping up and not me, so they're in the original video. He did say he was shaking his head as we all seen in the subtitles. But I can't, I can't say she's doing anything thingy. She did ask him. She hasn't demanded that he stops filming the car park. She has just asked if he would. So, and that's a request. That's not an order. That's them just asking you if you can stop doing something which you're under no obligation to listen to or abide by. Especially when it's lawful. My name's Peter. Peter, I work here. Yeah? Have you been here before? Do you know, do you know Perry Bar? A little bit? A little bit? Do you live over here? No? Oh, no, just go down here. Look. The door's here. Look. The cameras. No, you can't go that way. Come this way. This way. Public. Public. No? Public. Public. Okay then, so this is where it starts to get really weird just after this little bit here. Uh, the fact that she said, not that way, this way, and leading them towards an office. Well, it looks like the main entrance to the station. But then this is where all the questions start happening, which I do not really like. But as a police constable, that's just what they do. Ask more questions than what they answer and avoid answering any questions <laughs> that's just what they do so it hasn't got weird yet but the weird bit's going to happen in a minute so let's see what that weird bit is Yes, visitors. 
People. It's people. I don't film people. You don't want to film people? Yeah, I'm people. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You stay here? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. You stay here yeah. for one minute. Just stay there. Yeah. yeah. Just stand there for okay. one minute. Yeah. Okay, I'll come back. Oh. Officer 101. Okay then, so he did put in his original one. He feels like he's getting put into a trap, and I would say that is a trap, definitely. So it does say visitors that way, but you have to have a scanny, uh, a, a key, basically, to get in. You can't just be buzzed in, which means you have to have a key to get out, so you can't just be buzzed, so you can't just uh, buzz yourself out. So that was a trap in my opinion, which is a little bit weird. Why is she trying to get him into the building? Weird, if you ask me. But that was that interaction with this female uh, constable, or DC, or whatever she is. But it was a weird one. Assumes he doesn't speak English, and then tries to get him into the building. Really weird. But let's just jump into the next interaction. Is there anything I can help you with today? No? Uh, do, you, do, you, do you need any assistance from, uh, from us by any chance? Um, anything you want to know? Um, Cars, yeah. 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 What? 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 Ask me, sir. Okay. Oh. Oh, please, cars. Yeah. Yeah. Um. By all means, I don't have any issues with you, oh, but recording here. What's what? This police car? Yeah, they're all police cars. This one. This one here. Well, that's marked up as one, yeah. yeah. This one here. This. Yeah. Black. Black. Yeah. yeah. Pa park. Wrong. Wrong. Okay. Well, we have an, we have an issue with the amount of parking we have in, in here. No, 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 wrong. Disable only. Okay. Well, no, wrong, we, wrong, we, wrong. We do manage that, sir. No, 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 no disable. See, we have a, a sign on the uh, end of the building saying that we have actually a, a specific parking space for uh, an officer who is disabled and that is kept all, all clear. No, 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 look, 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 disable. Yeah. Disabled, disabled, well, blue badge. Yeah. Blue badge, well, no blue badge. I don't have any issues Where's, Where's the blue badge? Where's the blue badge? Where's the blue badge? Can I just no ask blue it badge. as a favor? All right then, so I would totally agree with him when it comes to the disabled parking. If it was on a public street, but it's not, it's in a private car park. So they basically are in charge of policing their own car park. And if they don't really care about people parking in disabled bears without the badge, then that's on. that's up to them, innit? If they have got a disabled police officer and they keep a disabled bear available for him at all times and they ain't hurting anybody, I understand because at the end of the day, the police are not the ones who enforce uh, parking laws on the road or rules, I should say, on the on the road. Uh, you got your traffic wardens for that. And it's the council that normally enforces that and that's who, who actually finds it and not the police. So, uh, I'm sort of with him because it is disabled and it is marked as disabled. But it's just like if you go into Asda and you park up in Asda's disabled parking and without a badge, there's you're not really going to get done for it. You'll get a private uh, fine from a private company, which is not the council or the police. It is Asda or the people what manages the car park. No blue badge, you can't yeah, ask me as a favour. Favor. I don't want no favour. No, no, Where's no, the blue I, I, badge? I'd like a favour. I don't want you to have favour. Where's the blue no. badge? Right, blue sir. badge, step away. Sir. Where's the blue badge? Disable right. badge. Disable right, badge. Disable badge. Where's the disable badge? Can I just, can I just oh, ask? No, you don't that, listen to me. Can I just ask? You're not listening to me. Look, look, look. Blue badge. 
No blue badge. Disabled. Yeah, but Shouldn't be there. Move the car. There's policing purpose. No, no, no. We don't, we don't disable people that work here. And no, some no. of these are disabled people. No, 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 no. These are people with personal badge. cars. These are people with personal cars. Parking. Car. Parking okay. only disabled. Yeah, some of these are basic people's personal cars. No disabled. And I have issues. So There's no you disabled. Record, you're recording people's disabled. personal Disabled. And vehicles. I've got issues. No disabled. Okay, okay. So I'll see if, uh, right, if that case, I'll move the cars. I'll see if we move. I'll talk. Move the cars. No, 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 no. Move the cars. Stop talking over me. Okay. I'm just saying, you, you're free to record. No, 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 I'd, I'd what, like I can film? Is that what you're going to tell right, me? Sir, let, are you going to tell me I can film? Speak, let me, if you let me speak, then I'll talk to you. Who are you? Uh, introduce yourself. Right, my name's PC Woolhouse Smith, based here at uh, Perry Bottom. My number's 27622. Okay? Hold on, hold on. So what he was about to say is going to go in and ask him to move the vehicles for people which has not got disabled badge, which is fair enough, but like I said earlier, it's their car park, it's private land. If they're not going to enforce the rules of the parking, then that's all up to them. It's it's like if I have uh, if I own the car park and I put disabled parking in, it's up to me if I enforce it. Uh, traffic wardens are not entitled to come onto that car park and enforce them rules unless if they have a specific contract with me to do so. So. This disabled parking thing is irrelevant, but what he did say is he doesn't want him to record uh, private number plates on private people's vehicles. Now, I don't understand why they always say this, because nobody has got access to the information they have access to. We can check if it's insured. Well, we can check if it's MOT'd and taxed. We can check its MOT history and all that sort of stuff, but we can't check where the person lives on that lot unless if you know somebody in the DVLA or a police officer or have access to to their to that information if you're an insurance or something like that. You work for an insurance company and then you can access that information, but apart from that, no. It's a bit of a silly one. So let's just continue. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, so that's the first thing you should have come out and said to me, yeah? I asked you if you right. need any assistance. No, first. you should have introduced yourself oh. yeah, properly. Oh, okay. Okay? What are you winking at him for? Because, because he's, he's, got, he's, got, he's got my back, that's all. Huh? He's just making sure oh. I'm okay. What do you mean making sure you're okay? You came to me, yeah? I, make, I want to make right. sure you're so, okay. That's the no, first no, thing no. I did. You don't need to okay. make sure I'm okay. I'm out here, I'm doing my own you got, thing. You've got no issues. And you've come, oh, I've got issues. Got issues These though. cars are all parking in disabled spots, all then, of them. Then I will raise that then. Okay. If that's what we wanted, sir, that's no, what you need no, to say. No, but listen, you were going to start turning around and say to me, you, uh, you can film, I'm asking you for a favour. What's that about? You shouldn't no, be no. asking me for a favour. I'm doing nothing wrong. Right. I can yeah, film yeah, every yeah. single number plate if I want to, right? So don't well, ask me nothing, right? Unless, <laughs> well, you can ask, obviously. Okay, yeah? so can I ask them? Yeah? And I you are, who are you, uh, anyway? PC 259, I'll show you. Can I say... And what's your show the number? 25982. Can I ask them? Where are you based? Can I just ask that you don't record people's personal vehicles that are going inside here? Because we have a right to a personal life, and that's our personal details. Okay. Take as many of the police cars that do not mind. Okay. Our personal vehicles, that's the only thing I have okay. an issue about. Because so, we have an so what did, what did I say to you life. earlier on? I said, are these police cars? Some of these are, yeah? yes. No, 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 no. I asked you if they're police cars. Yes. And you said yes, yeah? Yes. Do you know what this sign says here? Do you know what that sign says? Yeah. What does it say? Police vehicles only. It says operational cars, yeah? That's what these are. So I can film every single one of these cars along here. Yeah. Right? Every single one of them. And you know what? Yeah. Right? I haven't been filming personal police numbers. I've been filming, yeah? yeah. Full stop, yeah. which I can do. If a car comes into the view of my camera, that's not my problem. Yeah. If you've got a secret uh, place for them to drive in, that's that's down to you guys. Whoa. Okay, and I'm with him with that one as well. I think they should start with introducing themselves properly with their their name, the number, 
on what station they work from and then start asking whatever questions they want. Like I say, you're under no obligation to answer any questions whatsoever. But I th do think first impressions are extremely important and his first impression was not that good. His second impression was still not that good because it looked like he was going to run off in a little pansy because he didn't get what he wanted. The argument about uh, personal vehicles and having a private life, well, if there was that concern, get a bus. It's that simple. The, the number flirt thing, again, goes back to what I said earlier. It's absolutely pointless. Going on about number plates, there's a reason they're on the outside of the vehicle and not tucked away in the glove box or in the boot. It's because they're there for the public to see. And what was his other argument? I don't even know. I can't even remember. So much stupid. So, yeah, it's just a bit of a silly one, this. Now I'm going to let the last of this video play out and then I'll get to the end. So let's continue. There's a car pulled up right in front of him. Right. You can pretty, obviously, you know, you can record as Yeah, but the way that he's asking yeah, yeah. favour. I, I know you're annoyed about it. The thing is, there's nothing me and my colleague can do about the disabled cars. No, you should um, be. So, the, therefore, what, what's the point of having. Of, no, 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 no. you said there's nothing you can do. What's yeah, the so point of nothing, having I'm disabled spaces, therefore? It. Yes, there if, is. Obviously. No, there is. You can, what you can do. No, you've just said something which you, which is rubbish. To, no, you've just said something which is rubbish. You've just said there's nothing that you can do about it. But you can do about it. This is in your car park, right? And they shouldn't be there. So you can go back inside and whoever's your inspector, say to them, there's cars that are parked in disabled bays that shouldn't be there. That's what you can do about it, all right? That's what you can do about it. Don't turn around and tell me what you can't do about it. Because otherwise, get lost and don't come out and tell me nothing, all right? Dismissed, Foxtrot Oscar, both of yous. You lot of muppets. But there's nothing that you can do. There is. Go inside and tell them to move it. That's what you was going to do first of all, wasn't you? You was going to tell them to move it. Look at all these cars that they parked. Yeah? He's not even parked in a spot. Back away from the Get off. Don't, listen, you touch me again and I'll have you for assault. Don't push me. You touch me again and I'll have you for assault. Listen, I can walk up. Step back now. Listen, move your hand for me. Right. right. I'll have you for assault. You can't tell me what to do. I can step right here, right? Get lost. Fool. Get out of here. Okay then, so as you've seen at the end of that interaction, he did put his hands on him, which would be classed as common assault. He had no reasonable reason to put his hands on somebody just because he stepped towards a gate, which if you watch his video, he was near that gate earlier and nobody did that to him. He's been near that gate several times and nobody has done that to him. So this uh, angry boy here needs... Uh, some sort of verbal discipline or a written warning or a final written warning not to act like a fool with the public and definitely not put hands on somebody for stepping towards a gate. Did he try getting into the gate? No. So your actions was not appropriate. Your force was unreasonable. But all this is just my opinion. Let us know in the comments down below what you thought of this interaction. As always, like the video, it does help in YouTube's algorithm. And I'll catch you on the next one.